A um, couple of items on Obamacare. Humana pulling out of the exchanges entirely by 2018. Humana gone. The CEO of Aetna says the healthcare law is in a death spiral. His words, death spiral. Come on in, please, Scott Hodge, Tax Foundation President. If Obamacare is in a death spiral, as the gentleman says it is, Congress has to act on it first, before the tax cut. Isn't that the unpleasant and unfortunate situation that we find ourselves in? That right? Well, uh, clearly, uh, Stuart, the, the Republicans have boxed themselves in and by setting up this scenario where they had to do Obamacare first, then the tax cut plan. But maybe the, uh, the uh, Humana pulling out of Obamacare is the catalyst that they need uh, to get uh, Obamacare uh, replacement uh, over the finish line. And then they can move on to tax reform. Yes, but uh, how long is it going to take? I mean, uh, it, you have to have <laughs> legislation to get yes. rid of all of Obamacare. It has to wind its way through Congress. It's going to be opposed at every turn. There's no way you can just do this like that. You can't do that. Some are talking that uh, they can get something done by uh, Easter, uh, which would, I think, be a, a very encouraging move. And then uh, they can set the stage for uh, tax reform next. So th there's this, always this suggestion that you can do both at the same time. I don't think you can, can you? No, and, and it's really the way that they set up the budget rules where they have to do Obamacare under the 2017 budget before they move on to do tax reform under the 2018 budget. So they really have boxed themselves in, and, and, and it's really unfortunate because they should be able to do two things at once. Well, President uh, Trump uh, talked about uh, the tax cuts yesterday. Roll tape, please. In addition to reducing government regulations, we'll also reform our tax code to help middle-income families and American businesses grow and thrive. And tax reform is one of the best opportunities to really impact our economy. So we're doing a massive tax plan. It's coming along really well. Uh, it'll be uh, submitted in the not-too-distant future. And it will be uh, not only good and simpler, uh, it'll be you're talking about big numbers of savings. When that news came out yesterday, Scott, the market went straight up. The president is really priming that uh, stock market pump there. Uh, tax reform really needs the bully pulpit of the White House to get it over the finish line, much like we saw in 1986 when Ronald Reagan really pushed tax reform uh, through the Congress. And I'm, I'm very encouraged by this. But the interesting thing is, will the Trump plan be a lot like the plan that, it, that it, he ran on last fall, or will he move a little bit closer uh, to the plan that's now moving forward in the House of Representatives uh, by Chairman Brady? Well, look, uh, but you're on the inside of this. The Republicans are split, aren't they? Very much so. Yeah. Uh, just as it's interesting, they are split on health care and they're split on tax reform. And you would think that they'd be able to get themselves together and, and really push this legislation. But they are paralyzed right now on both of those uh, very, very important issues. In all honesty, Scott, when do you expect to see the details of the tax cut plan? When? Well, uh, the president is going to be speaking to Congress on the, uh, February 28th. In a, uh, and and I'm hoping that he releases the details by then and makes that a central part uh, of his national address. Am I right in saying that when we know the details, when the, if the president says, I'm going to do this, this, and this, at that point, businesses and individuals can act on the expectation of the tax cut, can they not? Uh, I'd be very cautious. We have a long <laughs> way to go until we can, uh, until he signs in the, in the uh, uh, Rose Garden that final tax reform bill. Okay, Scott, the market is looking for a tax reform bill soon, and you're telling us it's going to take a while, and that market rally has faded. See what you did, Scott? Huh? See what you did? <laughs> Dear Lord. Right. Thank you very much, sir, Scott. We do you appreciate bet. you being with us. We like your expertise. Sure. More good. Thank Check